ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. And it's a diagnosis that's given to children who have difficulty focusing or concentrating um, in school or at home. They fidget in their chairs. They have a lot of um, extraneous um, movements with their bodies. Uh, these children oftentimes have some conduct issues that go along with it. Um, and generally, they are hard to, hard to get their attention and, and to keep them on task. Well, ADD was an old term that was used, attention deficit disorder, and that actually defines one of the subtypes of ADHD. There are three subtypes of ADHD. The first is combination, and that's inattentive, impulsive, and uh, hyperactive. And so you look, when you're looking at hyperactivity, it's hyperactivity of a child running around the room, not sitting down in his chair. Uh, inattentive is looking out the window, maybe watching a squirrel instead of paying attention when it's going on on the chalkboard. The impulsivity would be a child sh uh, uh, shooting his hand up in the middle of class and speaking out of turn without the teacher calling on him. So those are the type of issues that a, a teacher would notice and combination tends to be actually um, more typical. There are two other subsets. It's impulsivity and hyperactivity. And with that subset, that child actually is able to pay attention. So they are focusing, but what happens is they um, become impulsive. They, again, they shoot their hands up, they talk before they're supposed to in class. Um, they, they're the kid that runs around in the schoolyard quite a bit, um, might get into some trouble, um, pushing other children, uh, speaking out of turn, things like that. Now the third subset is inattentive. And with inattentive, these people don't have the extraneous movements with their bodies. They are not impulsive, but what they're doing is they're sitting there daydreaming the whole time. Many times the child will sit there and just sort of daydream and drift off or look out the window. Actually, with the ADHD um, diagnosis, that's more common for women, uh, for girls, and it gets underdiagnosed frequently because they're being good. They're sitting in class, they look like they're paying attention, but they're really drifting away, and they're not. Frequently, it's the boys that have either the, uh, the first or second subset of um, the impulsivity and, the, and the, um, the hyperactivity. They get noticed more quickly because they're the ones speaking out of turn. They get the teacher's attention. They're the ones that get dragged down to the, the principal's office or to the nurse's office or sent to a, a therapist for some kind of diagnosis. So they get picked up a lot more frequently. What are some of the signs that I would look for if my child had ADHD? You look for uh, a child who's having difficulty at school. They are, um, the teacher is telling you that they're talking out of turn, they're, they're um, hyperactive, that they're not getting their schoolwork done, that um, the child, you have a hard time getting them to follow through on a task. Uh, they're supposed to start with the instructions and they, and they skip right to the end of it instead. Um, it's very hard to diagnose a child though before the age of six because the six-year-old children um, exhibit all of these all these patterns so it has to be something later on and usually it's around the fourth grade where we can start noticing what child has ADHD it's sometimes people say it's overdiagnosed and it might be about about three four percent of the population actually has ADHD um, and frequently we will um, give diagnoses to, to people as a, as a catch basin uh, phrase, oh, the kid has ADD or ADHD, but they really don't. It, 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 there could be problems at home causing a child to act out in school. It could be uh, problems on the schoolyard with some other kids. It could be a, a learning disability the child's having that causes them to act out um, in certain ways that appear to be like ADHD, but it actually isn't. So it's really important if you suspect that your child has ADHD is to take them to someone who can diagnose it to a psychiatrist, a family therapist, a psychologist, some licensed professional who is able to diagnose ADHD and sit down with it. Now, the only way to really diagnose ADHD at this time is by interaction and by interviewing the child, talking to parents and teachers and uh, ob observation. There's some uh, exciting work going on right now with magnetic brain imaging that is showing some promise for uh, diagnosing ADHD actually with a with, with, with a test like that. But right now, all we have are actually just looking at what's going on in front of us. Where can you learn more about ADHD? There's an organization called chad.com, and it's C-H-A-D-D.com. They are a wealth of information. 
for people on ADHD. And if you suspect that your child or your spouse or someone that you know has it, you might stop there first to take a look at their information.